All right, guys, I'll be hitting the gym soon. I'll be working on some axle presses and incline uh, bench press and also some floor presses and do some shoulder accessories. So stay tuned and check out my workout. Let's get this done. All right, we started this workout with some axle press. I warmed up to this. You can see my right shoulder is a little bit not there and I was like ah, I'm gonna add some weight hopefully it will get better I could warm it up and right here on this video as you see I try to go for more weight but I was not successful I felt that shoulder pain right away so I was like eh, nah time to back down and you know be a little smarter so I dropped weight and I went for this. I did, I think, a few sets of six reps or five reps. I did that for a few right there. Uh, the shoulder pain uh, still kind of bothering me, the shoulder. Been for a while since I did that jumping pull-ups, which I should not be doing. Jumping from one bar to another bar like a monkey. Yeah, that was a bad idea. So right here, the axle press. And right here there is another angle so you could see from right here how my shoulder the right side is kind of slow it's not coming as fast as the left side and in that case I kind of you have to lean a little bit backward and almost make it like a, an incline so basically you can get a little bit strength out of that shoulder yeah was killing me look right there Woo -wee. so right here I did some incline presses as you see that bench is a little, I think an inch higher an inch or two from your normal incline bench press I do that on shoulders day to try to hit more upper and I did I think that weight for four sets of eight and after that as you see I'm right here on my magic carpet and I'm doing floor presses that magic carpet takes me everywhere you know, I use it it's I pray on it and do other things like this because I don't want to lay down on a dirty floor so right there oh look at this why am I moving my feet like that it's like I'm pushing the pressing like the gas pedal or something all right and now moving to the next one. Oh, look at me Right here, I'm doing these. Uh, I see some people do it. I said, I, I, I want to give it a try. You feel this more, not on your, you feel more like almost on your traps. Almost like a sideway lateral raises, like the way my grip holding that dumbbell feels a little bit different, but I really felt it. It felt like almost by the traps, it felt really good. I had a lot of reps of those. Then I moved into this workout where I go side laterals and you see there's a band right there. I'm holding a band around my neck because I don't want I don't want it to put it somewhere and waste time trying to get it all together. So after I do this, I super set that with the band. Uh, believe me, these bands are really good. They come in handy. It's the kilo band. I got them from Lifting Large. I do a lot of stuff with the bands. It's good for shoulder pain. It's, you want that constant uh, resistance. Right there. I superset it with that. This is really good. I, I start messing with bands after I tore my left shoulder. And I start doing more bands than me again. Like I messed up. I tore the right shoulder. I guess I don't learn uh, from my mistakes. And right here I did the same thing for delts, real delts or weight. I guess that's how you call it. I try to squeeze those. I know I should have had the bands I think just a little bit lower, but I still was feeling it. As long as I'm feeling it back there, I know I'm doing something right. And after I got done with that, I super said a lot of people do face pull with the uh, what they call it uh, with the weight like a cable machine uh, I do that sometimes but right here I didn't want to go over to the cable machine try to do face pull so super center like this you could feel the burn because you're not resting you're not taking an hour to get to the machine you know how people they're so tired they try to walk across the entire gym before they get to the cable try to waste time 
So right there, I was feeling it as a fire in the back. And I finished up with this workout. I kind of just did this just for an extra burn. Uh, I think those were 45s each. That's an extra burn right there. See, I, I like to get that strength. This this workout right here is not like bodybuilders workout or none of that stuff. I do these for a strong man. I like that full body strength. You know, I know when people in bodybuilding try to squeeze. I don't squeeze. I don't do none of that stuff. As long as I'm getting that strength to help me with the log press, axle press, and doing all the strongman stuff, I'm good. I'm not here to build those big fancy muscles. I want some strength. Muscles don't mean anything if you're not strong. And right here, I finished with this. This I really felt it pretty good uh, on the top of my shoulder. It felt like it was working. This was like an extra burn. Uh, bands come in handy. So that's it for this workout, and I'll see you guys in the future in other workouts later. Flex, no, no.